Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a handstand session in my garage and I'll show you guys all the exercises I go through when I do handstand session. And this will be divided in two parts. So first would be a thorough warm up of my wrist and shoulders and then I will do the whole uh, handstand session. So I'll try to keep this video as raw as possible so that you know you can see all the hard work and frustration one has to go through if somebody's learning uh, a handstand. So if you ever see a hand balancer, give that person respect because it takes a lot of courage and patience to actually be a hand balancer. I hope you will enjoy this session. So I'm starting my warm up with the wrist rotations, very simple exercises, nothing fancy and throughout the whole warm up session my focus would be uh, on flexion and extension of wrist and I feel that these are the most neglected body part and people don't bother much about preparing their wrist and I do pretty much the same routine whenever I do handstand or planche training because people think about handstand they usually relate it to balance factor which is somewhat true but you know apart from that you need to have very good flexibility in your wrist as well as in your shoulders so that's why these days i'm focusing a lot on my shoulder mobility and and wrist preparation and i'm planning on making a separate series specifically for wrist and shoulders so that everybody can get benefit from that So some of these exercises will be very uncomfortable at start, especially if you haven't done those before. So I would advise, uh, you know, just be careful and be very cautious and progress as per your level. Now moving on to shoulders and I'm starting here with downward facing dog one of the best exercise for opening up your shoulder and you will see me doing for a few more exercises and like I said before that I'm already planning on making a whole series for shoulder exercises so I will cover all these exercises in that series
Now it may seem like that I'm jumping like an idiot from one place to other, but I'll still call it as a progress because I still remember when I did it for the first time, I could not hold myself upside down against wall. But now I'm good enough and I can hold myself for a couple of seconds. I only get right once or twice in 10 attempts, but still it's a progress. It's just a matter of time and practice that I'll, I'll get to a stage where I can hold myself for longer. And for me, looking at this video is very satisfying because you know, I'm, now I'm feeling much more comfortable doing it without any support from the wall. So it's a win situation for me. That was a good one. That's what I was talking about that, you know, in 10 attempts, I'll probably get one right. That's what all the frustration is about. And it takes a lot of practice. Oh, I think I should end my session here because my shoulders are giving up now. So in that whole 20 minutes, it's probably like two or three times when I've actually pushed it right to the center. And that's how frustrating it is actually. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did, please support this channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, stay young.